guys. I don't know if this video can. I don't know how the sound can. Let me try this. Maybe maybe maybe. I am in Memphis, Tennessee. I ran line all this weekend. Thank the Lord. And what I mean by that is, I got the whole line haul thing figured out. Cause at first we thought it was a. Uh, I'm on my break right now. First we thought it was a uh, wait six months, and then I was told a year before I can go line on the weekends or just switch the line on in general. But apparently it's not. Apparently if you get hired on as a driver, you can transfer immediately in a line haul or run line haul on the weekends. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do line haul or if I just want to run line haul on the weekends. I don't know. I do not know, boy. But, uh, yeah. So, this is going to be my three-month review of good old Cephal. Uh As you can see, if you do line haul, you can wear whatever. I have jogging pants, tennis shoes on. No, no uniform on or anything. You can literally wear whatever. I see people come in with jumpsuits and it's just what these old heads are wearing, man. It's, they don't, they don't care. I mean, Southeast Freight Lines is so laid back. I mean, a lot of people, I know it's they have a system. They're not really strict. They just have a system, and as long as you go by that system, you're okay. Um, but yeah, my three month review. If I had to give it a one, like a one to ten rating, I would say yeah, at least a nine. They deserve it now. Southeast Freight Lines is they're good people. At least my terminal is. Memphis terminal. They they seem like really good people. Um gonna help you get to wherever you wanna get, man. Whether it be line hall, P and D, they got a management trainee program. If you wanna be a service center manager, that's what my well he my service center manager is leaving. He's going to Tampa, which is our fifth largest terminal and uh he was a driver, went through the management training program and worked his way up. He was a terminal manager at Think Montgomery, Birmingham, and now Tampa. So I mean, hey, you can you make them big bucks, you know. I mean, if you wanna, if you don't wanna drive anymore, and you know, like a career, like an office career or whatever, is more of what you wanna be. I mean, they have management training programs because he was trying to get me to do it, and I really, I don't know. I just like driving a truck. So yeah, I mean, um, everything good so far. I mean, I enjoy it. My check will be nineteen hundred. Um, yeah, nineteen hundred dollars this week, plus this because you know because of this run. So I'm definitely gonna be running line haul every weekend for a long time because I just I don't know, man. I had a line haul itch. Once you pull doubles once, or if you love being on the road, man, it's it's a feeling you can't shake. And whew, boy, 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 I had an itch for three months, and I finally itched it. And, oh man, just driving down that road, I loved it. But yeah. So everything's going good. I mean, I would highly recommend Southeast Freight Lines to anybody. Uh, we're hiring, I think, 300 or 400 drivers by March. Or, it's not going to be by March. They're not going to be able to hire that many. But, yeah, I mean, they're hiring drivers. All you need is six months experience, which a lot of LTO companies uh, want a year. But we just need six months. Uh, all endorsements. I mean, hey, come over here. Start making at least 70 you're gonna make at least 70 so if you can hang it out with swift or whoever for six months and you get all your endorsements and you can drive a manual come on over i mean you don't have to put me down as a referral i mean you can and i think we get like 1500 dollars maybe or something and if you do and you get a job and you tell me and yeah so if, if you do and you get the job and you tell me and i mean i'll i'll give you i'll split it with you all right, hell, I might even give the, th the thousand, just keep the 500. I mean, I really don't care. You don't have to put me down. Money, I love driving, and I make good money as it is, so I don't need referral bonuses. But I will say the Southeastern Freight Lines has been great to me, and I think they'll be great to you. I mean, it's really, if you want to be, I don't really want to even say micromanaged. If you're, if you're fine with being, you know, just doing your job and not like, because... A lot of other pickup and delivery companies are they don't care about their numbers except for old dominion i know old dominion they're they're kind of strict on their numbers too but that's how southeast of freight lines is and i don't know why southeast of freight lines gets gets a bad rep but i love them i well i don't love them but i, I like them and i mean i kind of love i love driving and the company's been good to me so i guess you could say i love them but other than that i mean what else they're talk about i mean you get you know, a week of personal days, a week of vacation. If you start before January, like you, the say you started in December, that January you get both full weeks. But like if you started right now, you would accumulate 
personal days and vacation over time. And then next January, you'd get a week of personal and a week of vacation. And see me, I started in November, so I got a week of personal and a week of vacation, which by the way, your boy's getting married August 21st, and that's why I use my vacation on. But besides that, um, yeah, so it's pretty good. I mean, you get a week of vacation, you know, a week of personal days, and then my first year will be November, and then the January of 2022, I'll have a week of personal days and two weeks of vacation, which is it was pretty good. I mean, health insurance was pretty good. I mean, I had interviews at UPS and AAA Cooper and uh, talked to FedEx and I was at Saya and Southeastern Freight Lines is, has has the best insurance out of all the non-union LTO carriers that I've talked to. Okay, do not nitpick this and be like he said that they have better benefits than UPS Freight because no one beats UPS Freight or T Force. Good old T Force there, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I mean, all around. I mean, it's work. I mean, I've been working sixty. Well, I had a fifty-one hour week. It was the lowest week I've had. I've been working 58, 60 hours, you know, plus a little run on the weekends. So, I mean, if I do this every week, I could easily make 100, 120, 130. But I'm going to do this every other week. Maybe, well, for now, I'm going to do it every weekend because I just, you know, I got that itch. I need to I need to hit that road. It's snowing in Memphis. Boy, I ain't been in snow since I was at uh, good old Prime. And I was in uh, Utah and all that, Nebraska, Wyoming, and oh, man. <laughs> This snow ain't that bad up here in Memphis, but yeah, I give it a nine out of ten. If it's, if you want to work and you're friendly and you know you like like dealing with people all the time, Southeast Freight Line is definitely the place I would recommend. I can see me staying here for a very long time, whether that be P and D line hall or management. I mean, I don't know what I'll be doing, but you know, Southeast Freight Lines. I think I definitely nailed 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 it when I applied here well i applied so many times let me tell you more about my hiring process i applied three times three times but i had an auto restriction so i didn't want expecting to call back and this is when i was at pepsi and then i worked start work for saya it'd been like three or four months it got my restriction off because they had a menu on the yard i could practice in they didn't really help me i mean they let me use their truck but i practiced in it because the trainer he was sorry he wasn't really trying to help me he was just trying to you know get him to ride and go he he didn't want to come in for an extra hour even though he was getting paid for it um and then i took my test got my restriction off and then i started running line hoffer side on the weekends and then one week one day during the week i ran to jackson mississippi sorry i went to jackson mississippi and when i got to jackson my terminal manager called me at southeastern freight lines and he told me what the top out was, and he was interested in talking to me, and I was interested in talking to him. I mean, <sighs> it seems the people that are negative about this place either got fired from here or they just didn't like doing their job. Because I know I'm not going to go into all that, but I like Southeast Freight Lines. I love the red and black. I love the basic of the trailers, how the churches are, trailers are really basic. It's, you see it in the, the front and the back, Southeastern and the, the South White. I love how basic everything is i mean you pick up freight deliver freight you go home you get paid nice equipment i mean i mean a 2020 kenworth i'm i got a signed truck as a 2019 kenworth and i love it i mean there's not much more you can ask for right i mean benefits you know pay it's just all around a good company i mean everybody's experience is going to be different no cameras in the trucks by the way i mean i know this is kind of a ram ramble video but i just haven't uploaded a video in a long time and you know just thought I'd bring a little review. So, yeah, if you got any questions. Uh